I'm Nick Bond, a vision impaired astronomer and science communicator, and this is my smashing stereotype story. Early memories of science um, started really, really young for me. So uh, I grew up in a rural Australian town called Bendigo. From a really young age, I'd go out with my family. We'd stargaze together. Um, the only problem with that is that um, I was actually born registered blind. And so even though we'd go stargazing together, um, I couldn't always see the stuff that they could see in the night sky. And so it sort of became this shared collaborative experience where my parents would talk to me about what they could see. And I almost straight away went into science communication as a career. Um, since about 2016, uh, my colleagues and I have been working on a project called the Tactile Universe. Um, that project's all about creating multi-sensory resources and workshops uh, to increase access to astronomy for people, particularly who are blind or visually impaired. We've interacted with so many people. We've been able to share our passion for science with, with young people. Uh, who might be finding science just that little bit inaccessible and daunting for that reason. Um, really just getting to go out every day, talk to people about astronomy, which is a subject that I'm really passionate about, is, is just the most amazing thing. And being able to inspire young people and show them that science can be accessible, I think is just such, a, such an amazing thing to be able to do. Inclusivity, just in general, is such a good thing because it means we have more diverse points of view. If you just have all of the same type of person doing something, then that thing can become very stagnant. It doesn't get a lot of diverse input. It doesn't get a lot of new ideas coming in. And so you don't really make progress with that. Whereas the more people with more diverse experiences, more diverse backgrounds you can bring into a topic or a subject, they bring their experiences with them. They bring their unique ways of doing things with them. But I would argue that almost anybody who really wants to can access science. They just might need to use slightly different tools from everybody else, particularly if they have uh, sort of really specific sensory needs or disabilities or other things like that. Um, and yeah, it's, it's often really, really hard. It's really tough. It takes a lot of energy um, and a lot of time. But if it's something that you're passionate about that you really want to do, then sticking with it and uh, finding those ways of accessing things that work for you is really, really important. <laughs>